Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Be Creative, Be Great. Today we're doing another episode of Coffee Break. I'm excited because today we're gonna be rolling in a 2019 Lincoln Continental fully loaded navigational system, uh, navigational system 20 inch rims, LED lights in the headlights, LEDs in the back. I'm talking about this car is fully, fully luxury. You want class, you want to ride with class, this is what you're gonna pick up. You're gonna pick up one of these, right? You want to chill, you want to hang out, no speed, even though it has power. You just relax through the roads, fully loaded. And listen, the, the inside is like, talking about, we got leather seats, the navigational system is right in there, you know what I mean? Like we got some good stuff in here. Everything is nice and tailored, like with luxury. Everything is tailored with luxury. You can see the inside, it's beautiful. The back seat's roomy, spacious. The trunk, you can fit five bodies. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Listen, you can fit like five suitcases in there. That's a little bit exaggerated, but it's the space is perfect uh, for travel, for going you know, far places, or you just need to you know, get somewhere, a little vacation for a weekend, whatever, and you're with a few friends, boom, it's good to go. Listen, again, this is the 2019 Lincoln Continental. This is what we're gonna be using today for our coffee break. And we're gonna meet up with a friend of mine that has an interesting story. He got, you know, things going on for him these next few months, so I'm kind of excited for him. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop. It's called Common Grounds, and Common Grounds is an awesome shop for coffee. And if you wanna know how it looks and where it's at, Information is gonna be in the description of this video, but you're also gonna get some footage of us inside there. So let's get going. Let me go pick up my friend, and we're gonna hang out and have some coffee. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for what's to come. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so right now. Hit that little bell button so you can be notified with the next episodes that we're gonna keep coming up with new cars, new coffee shops, new people to interview. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Papito. Every, everything's good, man. Everything's good. Yo, you ready? I'm ready. Bro. I want to take you to a coffee shop. All right. So we're gonna have some some coffee, and we're gonna chat. Okay. We're gonna have a little 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 talk. Right. See how things are going with you. What's up? What's your life? I want to thank you for joining us in a coffee break um, segment, bro. What do you think about the car? Oh man, it's nice, bro. This car is a luxury nice car. A luxury nice car, right, yeah. bro? Yeah, man. It's as I don't know if I mentioned it earlier though, but this thing has a panoramic sunroof. What do you Ooh. think about that sunroof? Looks wonderful, bro. Right? Looks good, man. So how you feeling, man? I feel good, bro. Yeah. I feel healthy. Feel happy. A lot of emotion this couple months. Ah, a lot of emotion. What, 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 what do you got going on? Man, I'm gonna get married on September 7th. Whoa. I feel a little bit, how do you say, like, uh, nervioso. Nervioso, he's a little nervioso. bit nervous. Nervous, nervous. nervous, okay. Yeah, man, that's cool, man. I, I just wanna, I wanna thank you for, for coming and, you know, jumping on board with this, with the channel, you know, and I yeah. think it's, it's gonna be cool because we get a little bit of everything, you know, in this in this episode because we talk about, you know, different things. If you haven't seen another Coffee Break segment of ours, we just interview young individuals, leaders who are doing different things, who have little stories that they want to share. And I think it's, it's useful to, to share these things with the world so you can see that you're not alone sometimes in certain things, that we all go through stuff. And um, it's all good, man. So here we go. We're gonna be going to 
Common Grounds. It's brand new, it's opening up, well it just opened up in Shelton, Connecticut. So we're gonna we're gonna have some coffee and we're gonna have a little a little chat with our buddy John Fer what? What's your last name, Jomar bro? Jomar Caravaggio. Oh damn, I don't I don't wanna mess up your government. So you John Fer Jomal Jomal Caravaggio. Caravaggio. But I'm gonna put face horse. Face horse, oh <laughs> snap! I never heard something like that. But um Stay tuned, man. Come with us. Come with us. We're going to be driving through there. We're enjoying the, the little ride here. And we're going to have some, some, some coffee and a little chat. So stay tuned. sitio to open because the one they have is in Hamden but this coffee is you know what let's let's still let's, let's do a little cheers right here all right bro you know what I'm saying Woo. let's go mm. del cielo. Del cielo. from heaven from heaven yes from it is heaven. so talk to me man how's how's things like how, how have you been what do you got going on I've been good I've been working hard uh, that's it. In a few minutes, I'll uh, get yeah. married on September 7th. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for the new, what is coming for me and my future wife. Um, I'm going to set the challenge mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, that's truly love. That's true because I like that you said that I'm going to accept the challenge because sometimes getting married is, is a, it is a challenge. Yeah. But we have to go through it, right? Yeah. I know you love her. I can't wait to be. I'm in the wedding, by the way. You yes. really know. Um, so, do you have any expectations, like um, of this, of this, el, uh, like expectativa? Tu tienes, you know, like as you go into to this marriage, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited because uh, my expectative is uh, growing up with my wife uh, more, like follow God more. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanna crecer junto. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause, yeah. Uh, she got my back. I got her back. Right. But my expectativas son like just and you know, her like yeah, and just you and you, right? Crecer like to grow. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm 22. You're 22, right? That's yep. that, listen. It's okay to get married at, at 22 when you know the person that you wanna be with, right? You yeah. just like you you go there. You, yeah. you get married, right? Yeah. So now, how how is like? What do you do for work? Like, what is your profession? So right now, I'm doing a cutter. I'm a cutter. I'm cutting paper. Uh, I have to make sure that the books, yep. the crossover matches. Yeah. So this is like for a printing. A printing company. Okay. So yeah, I'm a specialty of the cutter, and I change the knife, and uh, I'm doing other stuff in the company. Yeah. But right now, I'm a specialty cutter. Yeah. My next step, I'm gonna run in a HP machine. The okay. HP machine, what what it's doing is yeah. uh, making the paper and um, colors to you know yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that. So it's it's like books too. You do books. You put books together and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically the HP is more like printing paper, like mm. like but rollers. Oh, so they're big. Yeah. Yeah. Que son grandes. Son grandes rollo, eh, de rollos de papel, mm. so que printean este. Bien rápido. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And you like what you're doing? You like that? I like what I'm doing, yeah. but right now. I'm focused on what I, what I want to do in the future because mm -hmm. this is not what I what I want to do mm -hmm. for my future because I want to show my kids that they can do something better that yeah. that me um, I want to be a professional so they can see me like a, a como se dice, ejemplo like example I want to be a sample for my kids yeah so yeah and for my wife too so yeah of course what was good was that you know 
wherever you have a passion for, you go with that. Yeah. Because sometimes a profession could be something that not everybody sees like a profession, yeah, yeah. but they love it, you know? It's a passion to do it. Like, um, it could be something small, like printing, right? Yeah, but if yeah. you have a passion for that, you're gonna do really good. You open up your own company. Yeah. You know, you have the experience now for printing, right? You have experience for cutting. You could probably open up your own company. That's true. To to do, you know, printing stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's it's good in a way, it depends on how you how you take it. But you know, I, I wanted to I wanted to interview you just to so other people can also know who you are, you yes. know. Know what you do, that you know you're you're a young man, you're a humble. 22 years old, you're getting married, yeah. you know, you have a lot of stuff that you want to yeah. do, you know, and sometimes people, they're at your age and they don't even know what to do, yeah. right? They don't even have a job right now. So for those young kids, like maybe like your age, like what, what advice would you give them, you know, what type of advice would you give somebody, a young person that's watching this right now yeah. and say, oh, you know, what type of advice would you give them? I'll, I'll, you gotta do your step, man. Do by, you're gonna step by step, um, working hard, um, take the initiative mm -hmm. to do something that maybe nobody believes in you. You can prove something, not to them, by yourself. Uh -huh. like, you can do it. That's good. Like, do it, and you're gonna feel good. That's that's my. Yeah, I, I like that because you know it's like you wanna. We have a lot of people, a lot of kids young adults, older adults that don't believe in themselves, yeah. you know? So I like that that you say, you know, take that initiative, be yourself. So I, that you can prove not the people, I yeah. like that. You know, it's not to prove to the people, yeah. it's to prove to you that, wow, yeah. you know what? I can do it. And that's, I follow the same practice, you know, for myself. Yeah. I'm not, you know, we're not here to prove anything to anybody. Yeah, exactly. We just want to be the best that we can be and whatever it is that we're doing, right? Yeah. So that's what's that's that's cool, you know. And I know that you're also a leader because you work with young kids as yeah, well. You know, we right. work together. If you didn't know, Jonfred also works with young kids from 13 to about 18, 20 years old, which we both engage with kids um, that are that are less fortunate sometimes than us. But you know, we're always there to just empower them and lift them up. And he's also an example. You know, he's 22 years old. You may say, "Oh, wow, that's pretty young," but he has a pretty impactful. You know life to young kids who see him as well you know so i think you believe it or not bro there's people that are watching you they're looking at you young kids you have you have a brother right yes and I he's, got a brother. he's watching you he's yes. a younger brother you know how, how is it having a younger brother and like trying to 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 show him oh man it's, it's a little bit hard it's hard right uh, my brother has 13 years old i got 22 um, he wanna do stuff like I said. This is not good, um, but he just wanna do it because mm -hmm. that kind. Of, when you got that age, like nobody, you, somebody tell you something, he's not gonna listen. He's not listen. But I know that God's gonna do something with her, his life, and and I know that this is just a like how do you say? Como como esta parte de de su like, proceso. Proceso. Oh, it's, it's part, part of the process. process. Yeah. You know, yeah. that everybody passa por esto. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. But it's, it's a pleasure, Jumford, to have you. Thank you. To have some, some coffee with you. You yeah, know what I mean? Bro. Compartir contigo, me entiende? In a different way. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I think God is going to do a lot of amazing things with you. Amen. I know He's going to bless you. Amen. And He's already blessing you. Oh, yeah. You know, He's already blessing you. And I know that, that all the desires and, and all this... Everything that, that, that you've always wanted to achieve, I believe that God is gonna open those doors for you. You know, continue to be humble, continue to be yourself, you know, not to prove to anybody else, you know what I mean? That, oh, I'm gonna prove to you that I, you know, it's because you're doing it with a, with a, with a real sincere heart, and that's what God is looking at, you know? Sometimes we wanna be proving things to people, you know, just to get an approval from somebody else. We don't need approval from somebody else. You need to believe in yourself and know that if you put yourself there to do it, if, if you put your mind to it, that you can accomplish, you can achieve these things, you're gonna achieve it and you're gonna do well at it. Um, I know sometimes we need people to believe in us, which is important, that's why it's important 
for fellowship. That's why it's important to communicate and, and open up. And that's why I like to do these kind of coffee break interviews because, you know, it's a moment where you can open up and just be a little bit vulnerable yeah. with yourself, you know, with myself, with, with him, you know what I mean? I know it's a little bit challenge with the English and the Spanish, yeah. but you know what? It's all good though. At least you're doing it and you're yeah. trying it and you're gonna bless somebody's life right now. Amen. You know, Amen. somebody who's watching this, they're gonna be like, wow, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit shy like him too, but listen, he's there, you know, he's doing it. So um, I wanna thank you again for being a part of the, the, the Coffee Break segment, episode three. Listen, if you haven't followed uh, my account, please follow it, be creative, be great. This is Coffee Break episode three. We're here at Common Grounds. The coffee is so amazing. We're in Shelton, Connecticut, um, right on uh, Bridgeport Avenue. And this shop just recently opened up. Their main one is in Hamden. They have Hamden and in Brantford. Um, this is the first one they're opening up in the Shelton area, which is great. It's a beautiful spot. I'm gonna show you some, some video of the way it looks inside of here. It's great. If you're looking for a cup of coffee, a really good cup of coffee, come to Common Grounds, man. Common Grounds is the place for your coffee satisfaction. If you need a cup of coffee in all types of flavors, Common Grounds is the place yes. for you, okay? Don't go to Starbucks. Come on, man. Come to Common Grounds. Peruvian coffee, Colombian coffee, coffee from Kenya, coffee from all, from all over the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? No Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, no, no Dunkin' Donuts. Come on, Dunkin' Donuts. It's like nothing against Dunkin' Donuts. Listen, if you're on the run, you get the. And America does not run on Dunkin'. Trust me. That is, to me, that's like a lie. Yeah. But, anyways, thank you again. Thank you. For watching. And if, like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so you can be notified on the next coming episodes of Coffee Break with coffee, cars, leaders, and sometimes sneakers. We're yeah. going to see about that soon, maybe in another episode. So we'll see you on the next one. Later.